Over the last few days, NEET 2018 has descended into yet another controversy, increasing the anxieties of parents and students alike. Many of you have written in asking about what is happening in the counselling process, what will happen to the allotments that have already taken place and what is likely to happen in NEET counselling over the coming days. So as you already know, the Medical Counselling Committee has issued a notice dated July 12, 2018 on its official website. Now that is the same date on which the NEET second counselling round result was to be declared. As per the notice, the result of round 2 of NEET counselling as well as further counselling processes have been kept in abeyance until further instructions are received. Some of you might also have seen similar such notices being issued on the Punjab counselling, the Tamil Nadu counselling and other state counselling websites. Now why has this happened? Why has the NEET 2018 counselling been put on hold? and what will happen to it in the coming days. Let's take a look. NEET 2018 was conducted by the CBSC on May 6th and the result was declared on June 4th. More than 12 lakh candidates appeared for the exam and around 7.14 lakh candidates qualified. The Medical Counselling Committee began the first round of NEET counselling on June 13th, followed soon after by all the states. The first round counselling result was declared by the MCC on June 23rd. More than 12,000 candidates were allotted MBBS and BDS seats in various government colleges as well as central and deemed universities. The second round of need counselling commenced on July 6th and the result was expected to be declared on July 12th. Now on July 10th, the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court passed an order stating that 24,720 candidates who appeared for NEET in Tamil were to be awarded 196 grace marks each. The court also instructed the CBSE to halt the current counselling process and issue a fresh merit list within two weeks. The NEET counselling process has now been stayed at the centre as well as in most states. There is a lot of anxiety among candidates about whether a fresh counselling process will take place and what will happen to the counselling that has been conducted so far. Candidates who have been allotted seats or those who are expecting to be allotted seats are now worried about their admission status. NEET was conducted in a record 11 languages this year, with Tamil being one of the languages. Now soon after the exam was conducted, candidates who appeared for the paper in Tamil complained that there were multiple mistakes in the questions. This led to them not being able to understand the questions and entering wrong answers. This issue was brought to light by an NGO called Tech for All, which pointed out that as many as 49 questions in the Tamil version of the paper contained mistakes. A writ petition was filed in this regard before the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court by senior CPIM MP TK Rangarajan. Now a total of 1,7288 candidates appeared for NEET from Tamil Nadu. Out of these, 24,720 candidates appeared for NEET in Tamil. Given that each question in NEET is worth 4 marks, the petition demanded that each of these 24,720 candidates is awarded 196 marks as compensation for the 49 erroneous questions. The Madras High Court agreed with this demand and ordered the CBSE to award 196 marks to each of the 24,720 candidates. The court also asked the CBSE to produce a fresh merit list. As per the court, until the fresh merit list is produced, the counselling sessions would be kept in abeyance. Now note that the required cutoff marks for qualifying NEET is 119 marks for the general category and 96 marks for the reserved category. Even if this were to stay the same, awarding 196 marks to 24,720 candidates will mean that all of these candidates will now be eligible for MBBS and BDS admissions. It would also mean that all the counselling that has been conducted thus far at central and state level will have to be scrapped and will have to be conducted afresh. This is not the first controversy to hit NEET, especially in the context of Tamil Nadu. The state has been a vociferous opponent of the exam ever since its inception. Even last year, Tamil Nadu tried to gain an exemption from NEET and continue holding admissions on the basis of class 12 marks, but failed. Even this year, again, there was a major controversy when candidates from Tamil Nadu were allotted exam centres outside the state. On July 16, the Tamil Nadu government has declared that it will no longer be holding admissions to Ayush courses on the basis of NEET, but rather 
hold it on the basis of class 12 marks alone. The state has also placed on record its opposition to NEET being conducted twice by the NTA from 2019 onwards. Unsurprisingly, the CBSE has filed an appeal before the Supreme Court against the Madras High Court verdict on July 16th. In fact, a candidate from Chennai itself had filed an appeal before the Supreme Court on July 12th. The candidate who had been allotted Chengalpet Medical College after Tamil Nadu conducted his counselling for government colleges between July 1st and July 7th is worried that he will lose his seat if the Madras High Court verdict stays. It is expected that the CBSC will argue on the basis that it had already mentioned in the uh, NEET bulletin that in case of any ambiguity in the translation of questions, its English version would be considered as final. As per media reports, the Supreme Court is expected to hear both of these cases on or after Wednesday, July 18th. In previous cases involving NEET, the Supreme Court has always looked at the interests of the majority before passing its verdict. For example, in 2017, the Madras High Court had issued a stay order on the declaration of NEET results after many candidates complained about the regional language papers being different to the English one. The Supreme Court had overturned the Madras High Court verdict and issued its verdict in favour of the CBSE, allowing for the declaration of results after a brief delay. So it is expected that the Supreme Court will rule in favour of the CBSE and allow for the counselling process to continue. This is because the publication of a new merit list and restarting the counselling process from scratch will considerably delay the admissions for this year. It would also make the CBSE open to further litigation from candidates who will lose their allotted seats. And this could send the entire process into disarray. So the Supreme Court is likely to keep all of these factors in mind before passing its final verdict. While it is not possible to predict how this case will proceed, there is a high chance that the court will allow the counselling process to continue without disruption. We hope this video was useful in providing a gist of what has happened so far and what could happen in the NEET counselling process. You may stay tuned to careers360.com for all the latest updates in this regard. All the best. Like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and www.careers360.com.